Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalope, and today we're bringing you, once again, Dale of Merchants by Snowdale Design, by the request of our wonderful Patreon community. 100%. By our, our Patreon and Discord community, which are kind of combined, mm -hmm. have discovered this game because we've been talking about it, because we like it and wanted to share it with them, and... Now they're playing it. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Uh -huh. Like, nearly every day or two, I see a Dale of Merchants TTS game happen on the server. And it's kind of expanding and becoming more and more and more prevalent. It, it's wonderful. It is, in fact, which is very cool. And I already did a full Right Free, Wrong for You video on the entire collection of Dale of Merchants. Awesome. Along mm -hmm. with a Kickstarter preview video of the current Kickstarter campaign for mm. Dale of Merchants 3. So, honestly... I feel like I've said about all I need to say. I'm going to let you, because you introduced me to this game. That's true, yes. I'm yes, going to let did. you set up the game, set up the gameplay that we're playing, and talk a little bit about the unique features of this game from your perspective, without any of my filter here, and then let's dive into the gameplay and just show off how this game operates. We were not planning on doing a gameplay. The, the Discord and the Patreon uh, all this week have been layering on When's the gameplay coming? What do you mean you haven't done a gameplay? You mean Jan's going to be over for the weekend? You're going to drive 32 hours total to go pick him up and bring him back to Kentucky? To and you're not going to play Dale of Merchants? Gonna, you're not going to sit down and play Dale of Merchants? You know, What's we'd going like on? To, we, we'd probably prefer... So, if you want to be part of those chiming voices that actually have a direct impact on this channel, along with all of the exclusive content we're making over so on So much, Patreon, actually. Uh, extra podcast episodes, mm -hmm. kind of the beta run of different shows and series that we're bringing here to the channel, uh, written posts, text, just... The opportunity to converse and influence through polls and through voting systems, what we do here on the page, swing over to the Patreon. I yeah. mean, it's literally a dollar a month, $12 yeah. a year, and you get access to everything we're doing. And if you enjoy the content we make, it goes a long way in supporting what we kind of eventually want to be able to do. Yeah. This is not an easy channel to run. Not at all. Um, and so the support of our community really, really has been incredible over the last month. With all that being said, I'm going to be quiet for a bit. Let's... Oh, are you going to be respectfully quiet while Jan talks? Is that what we're doing? Oh, we're, this is interesting, guys. This is worth this video alone. So Dale of Merchants is a deck builder. A little bit different than what you might be accustomed to. Here we are animal folk. And every single animal folk is going to sell a very particular wear in their stalls. Your objective is to make the most attractive stall to be the best merchant in wherever it is that you're selling in this market. The way that you'll do that is by collecting trinkets from all types of different animal folk that are circling, that are around in your market, in this area, buying wares and wares and bits to make your stall more attractive. However, remember when I said that this is a deck builder that you might not be accustomed to. That's because the cards that you're getting into your deck, that you're making your deck built bigger with, are actually gonna come completely out of that deck in order to create a tableau of ascending order. So you'll start by playing down maybe a single card. Then you might play down two cards, three cards, four cards until somebody on that table has eight and they have successfully created the best market in there. The last thing you need to know about Dale of Merchants is that if we've talked about variability before, if we talked about customization, making your game unique, I don't think there's any contender against Dale of Merchants. Dale of Merchants currently has 27 Animal Folks races available right now, and there are already six more on the way. Not six? 27 with three. 27 with D on three. Oh. <clears throat> Dale of Merchants already has. Dale of Merchants already has 27 Animal Folk decks. And let me be very clear here. Each of those decks is completely, completely different to every single other deck. And you're going to get to see a sample of that right here. So, after that little preview, we're going to go through kind of like what we're doing. So it's back to Weir? I can talk now? No, 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 no. I'm going to go in. through. I want to specify one thing very quickly. All the stuff Jan is saying, he doesn't watch my videos anymore. He has not seen the right for you, wrong for you. We have been busy all weekend since yes. it was published. Uh, everything you said. You've touched on. A little bit. Of course. Yeah, to a degree. So if you're curious about 
whether or not this game really will fit into your hobby, into your gaming mm -hmm. shelf, into your library, go check out some of those more in-depth videos. If you just want to see the gameplay, have a little bit of fun, and watch how the game flows, the progression of it, this is a great example of that. Mm -hmm. And also, it's always good when you get to see me win against Chan. That's always a nice thing. Oh, God, I now, hope that doesn't happen again. Again, uh -huh. I will politely be quiet as you... Uh, Oh, no, you're fine. I think we can do this together. We're back this together point. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are playing with three unique animal decks. Yes, we are. Right? You've selected the Fickle Giant Tangalas. I love them. The Archiving Desert Monitors. Mm -hmm. And the Experimenting Platypus. Mm -hmm. Okay, very, very interesting. Now, with all that being said, Jesse, okay. go ahead, take those cards, shuffle them into your deck. Good, sir. You're avoiding the fact that I have oh, flavor no. text. So we are also playing with two unique character cards, which are included in the collector's edition. Mm -hmm. These are modifiers, and there are, I believe, 55 unique potential character cards you can play with. We did easy ones because... Yes, we did easy ones. I'm just going <laughs> to leave it there. Let's go ahead and talk about who we picked, mm -hmm. talk about what their mechanic is. Okay. Let's spend just a little bit of time reading a little bit. I mean, this is a Quackalope video after all. Flavor text, if it's on a card, will be read. It always has to be there. So I chose Narochi, the Hairy Frog Salvager. What Narochi does, after building a stack, I may search my discard pile for a card and place it into my hand. Oh. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's really good. If there's one word that describes both Narochi and his salvaging work, that word is opportunism. His whole business started by accident, when a large pandolin trade vessel sank near the shores of his hometown, its precious cargo sinking into the depths. While others were busy benoming their loss, Narochi was already purchasing diving equipment. Narochi's business has since progressed swimmingly. He employs a small team of divers and goes after sunken treasures, both recent and long forgotten. He excels in seeing what others cannot and sensing the valuable opportunity in what others might disregard as a waste of time and resources. That's a pretty nifty little character card you have there. So who are you playing over here? I am t Friend, the Fennec Fox role model. Okay. Our ability is going to be to encourage. So we're going to be waving some little flags over <laughs> there. And all players are going to be able to take the top card of their discard piles and place them on top of their deck. All Great. players? All players. Interesting. So I'm gonna encouraging, be encouraging everyone. Well, so I not yeah. only get to dig my discard pile. Yes. I also get to cycle my discard pile. Well, this just sounds like a good game to me. Yeah, I might not ever take advantage of this ability. Hey, ho, stick that stack, gotta go. Fennec foxes are known for being manipulative and enjoying the effect they can have on other folks. Mm. t friend happens to be fortunate in that she has found a way to get paid to do exactly that. She has built a career as a motivational speaker that knows the value of humor and entertainment in a speech. t Friends clientele consists of all kinds of folks that are in leadership positions, from government leaders to factory supervisors. No matter what feeling one wants to evoke in a crowd, t Friend is the right fox for the job. All she needs is 15 minutes on stage and a modest compensation. I have to say, I already feel inspired. Oh, she sounds wonderful. So what do you think? Ready to dive into this? Yes, I am. Okay, how do we start? So we're going to draw five cards from the top of our decks. Uh, we can determine randomly who is the starting player. Okay, uh, first so whoever... roll, paw. Yep. Nope. There we go. That's you. And with that... <sighs> Let us begin. Jesse, if you want to walk through turns or, you know, do anything you like, feel, please feel free. Yeah, so I mean, throughout the course of your turn, you're going to look at the cards you have in your hand. You're going to play those cards doing a classic deck building mechanic, using the market costs of the top number value to buy from this board here. Now, this market board scales based on where the card is positioned, becoming more expensive the farther down they are, but it always progresses down, so it'll always shrink in size. Mm -hmm. There are other cards that'll have plus abilities. These can be tactics cards or technique cards that you play down that allow you to chain or combine effects. Yeah. But to start with, you'll probably see us spending to buy, to equip, to finally start building our own stall, progressing towards victory condition, really driving victory condition. Little by little. Okay. And so, 
as you we were saying that, I have made my decision. All right. I have now discovered that the archiving desert monitors are actually able to kind of transform their value mm. as we play the game, okay? And so, I am playing my rigorous chronicler with two junk cards, mm -hmm. which is going to allow me to actually buy this. Why is that? Because when I use him to purchase, I get to change the value from one all the way to three. Interesting. So what did you buy there? So I bought Slice of Life, with a, which is actually another eye-carving Desert Monitors card. As a passive ability, I may draw one card from my deck and place it into my hand once a turn. Mm -hmm. If I do so, discard one card from my hand. Interesting. Moving on to me, I think I'm going to do a purchase action as well. Let's see what we have here. And just, just so we know what's in play here, let's go ahead and read through everything we have here. So what just came out? Uh, safety precaution. Swap this card with any card from the stack in your stall. Place a new card into your hand. Oh, wow. We also have duplicate entry. Search your deck. You may throw away a card from there. Shuffle your deck. Oh, that's wonderful. The coffee grinder. You may once in your turn choose any player and discard up to two cards from their deck one by one. Excellent. Okay. Then we have calculations. Uh, when you use this card to purchase, you may rearrange any cards in the market before the purchase. Ooh, that is extremely That's powerful. interesting. And finally, we have an accident. As a technique card, look at the top card of your deck, then exchange it with one random card from any player's hand. Interesting. So I love this. So the rigorous chronicler or the archiving desert monitors are all about meticulous yeah. control. Perfect. Planned action. Precision. Uh-huh. While the pangolins just are just dropping everything and going crazy. Everything. It's it's wonderful. You know, I love this too. <laughs> oh god. Because I'm just gonna spend three junk here to go ahead and pick up this accident. Oh, are you gonna be that player? Look, I'm not gonna be any type of player. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and draw back up, go ahead and restock the market. Let me tell you what we have coming out. Refreshing drink. You may discard one card from your hand once in your turn. And that's a passive ability. So if you have it in your hand, it'll just be a thing you get to do. Hmm. Interesting. So you're able to cycle more cards, especially if you didn't play everything. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, so we're not going to dilly dally on this. We're spending three junk yep. to buy the coffee grinder. I don't know that that is a bad decision. Although Pulling I just noticed the uh -huh. magnet. Search your deck for a card and place it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Ooh. Interesting. Now down here, I have access to when you use this card to purchase, you may rearrange any cards in the market. Yeah, that's a good one. I kind of went through it in my head. I was like, oh, I probably should have. Yeah, maybe could have, would have. That is a really, that is a very interesting one. You know, to start with, I think I'm going to have just a little bit of an accident. So top card, and I would like to exchange this card, one card from your hand, Randall. We'll just, just exchange it. Look at that. I bumped into you. I dropped some things. You dropped some things. We both, we both dropped some things. Thank God you didn't grab what I need, what I did really, really didn't want you to get. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Okay. Is it my turn now? <laughs> no, it's not. That's just my technique, remember? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, so once in my turn, I can choose any player to discard up to two cards from their deck one by one. You might as well. Just go ahead and start cycling your deck here. Discard it. Shuffle it again. Are you? Can you play your card so I can see what it is? No. No? Well, it's a passive. <laughs> it's just a passive coffee grinder. You, you took it. That's it. That's all it is. Did you forget that was there? I didn't look at my hand just discard enough. It all right. Let's see here. I'm going to play a technique, take the top card of my discard pile and place it on the top of my deck. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pay two to purchase calculations. Go into my hand and I will restock my hand. <sighs> Interesting. Now what has come out here? We have another safety precaution. Swap this card with any card from a stack in your stall. Place the new card into your hand. I'm drawing one okay. because I have a passive ability and then I'll discard another card. I'll discard that. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Hmm, interesting. We're getting history lessons. Take up to three cards from the top of your discard pile and shuffle them into your deck. Interesting, very precise, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole, that's their whole mechanic. So what do I want to do this turn? You know, I, uh, I'm so sorry. I just, I'm, I'm bumping all over the place. I just, everything's just, I'm just, You're not getting nothing this turn, though, to be fair. You're not getting nothing. <laughs> Search your deck for a card and place it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. That's not a bad card. That's not, that's not a bad card at all. I don't know why I even spent it. I should have really just went for something really bad. I don't know why. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a bad card at all. That's quite, it's actually a really nice card. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very very, very interesting. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and pay. Let's see. Let's pay six. Oh, I wonder how you can pay six now. Oh, is it through the cards you've been stealing from me? Oh, okay. No, not no. at all. No, no. Okay. I'm going to buy this one. Mm, excellent. Yeah. Just because I have money to spend. Yeah, yeah. I wonder Let's where see. you got that money, though. Fresh start. Choose any player to shuffle their discard pile into their deck then take the top card from any player's deck and place it into your hand. I'm placing a stall. Oh yeah, you're going to mm -hmm. already you're going to already start driving end game? Yeah. Your turn. Interesting. Didn't expect you to start a uh... Why are you pushing it so quick? Why am I pushing it so quick? I mean because I keep taking things from you. Well, maybe. But it could uh, be that. I don't know. Now I need to reshuffle so I can restock my hand here. No, oh, because you don't have any cards left? No, I need to uh, I need to redraw. I swear to God, if you get that accident card again. I <laughs> like that was a good that was a good play. Getting it back into my hand like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent play. Mm -hmm. It was a solid. Really solid, yeah. It was a good move. <laughs> it was a good move. What do I actually want to do? So I think I'm gonna spend a total of nine points. Just pick up fresh start here. Just add that, add that into my hand. Oh, and I want to make sure junk is on the top of my deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. I'm going to go ahead and place my second stall with your card. It's okay. I, you don't have enough to get to eight. Well, of course I don't. You do not have the volume system, the value system necessary to get the whole way up to eight. That's fine. But I, I appreciate the dedication. Um, I'm going to start with a technique. Search my deck for a card. Mm -hmm. Place it into my hand. Uh, oh, God. I am so sorry. I'm Look, I'm clumsy, all right? I'm just all over the place. Just all over the place. You've stolen every single card I bought at the exact right time. The good news is, this time, we just traded. Just one-up swapped. Not a problem. Just junk for junk, my friend. Mm -hmm. That's all it really ever is, mm -hmm. right? Just all oh, it, yeah. 100%. Yep. All it really ever is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't hate the duplicate entry there, though, but I don't know. Do I have the market to buy it? Three plus four. I would, in fact have the market to buy it, but I don't know that I want to spend that much. So I'm going to do calculations. When you use this card to purchase, you may rearrange any cards in the market before purchase. So this, that's a passive card. You don't have to spend but it. But I have to spend it to purchase. Oh, sure, yeah. sure, sure. So this, oh, there's one all the way up here. Yes. So I could have just bought that one. Yes, you could have. But I can still rearrange things however I want. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could. Let's just push some of these back a little bit. I will purchase this one here. It'll take me one more junk, and that'll be the end of uh, that turn. Calculations, another one. This is this is difficult. This is difficult. What can I even do? Okay. I just feel you're gonna steal it from me. You're gonna take everything. I'm the one that's paying the nope. top dollar. 
I'm the one paying top dollar and you just steal it. Okay? I've, started, I've started paying top dollar. I'm gonna pay three to get this into my hand. Okay. We have another Lemonade. You may discard one card from your hand once in your turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You know, since you've started building. How the tables have turned so quickly in this one. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Technique, search your deck. You may throw away a card from there. Shuffle your deck. So searching, mm -hmm. throwing away, shuffling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do fresh start. Let's let's start over. Can oh you please can you please shuffle your discard pile into your deck? And then I'm. Take one. Uh, and then I think I want to spend. Let's spend. Let's spend all four. I'm going to spend four. Just pick up this card here. You know when I said that the pangolins were great? <laughs> I don't think I feel like that anymore. <laughs> I think my feelings have changed a little bit. Just a teensy tiny bit. Um. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and. Um, Look, I'm clumsy. I'm, I'm so. Oh, I'm just such a klutz. Silly me, just bumping around. You know, you can't. Such a klutz. You know what? No, I'm. I'm not gonna let you take my cards. So we're gonna do this. Okay. Back to you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. It becomes riskier and riskier for me to do that accident. Because I could draw something that I actually want to keep. Mm hmm, I bet, yep. Mm -hmm. It would be so poetic if you just give me back the super high value cards I gave you. Yeah. So I'm going to play duplicate entry, search my deck, throw away a card from my deck, throw away another junk, and shuffle in my deck. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing I just confirmed mm -hmm. there's currently no junk left in this deck, so I don't want to do, uh, no matter what order it's in, it is not worth the risk to do a uh, to have a little bit of an accident. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Now, mm -hmm. what what do I have the opportunity to pick up though? I honestly think I'm gonna use this accident card. Let's go ahead and purchase this uh, calculations card. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, I'm glad you feel good about that, sir. Ooh. I mean, at this point, you might be able to utilize that. There's. What are you buying? Did you buy that? There you go. Have fun, my friend. Uh, history lessons. Take up to three cards from the top of your discard pile and shuffle them into your deck. Oh. Now, the interesting thing is I don't have a lot of one cards left, which is sort of unfortunate. I need to find some one cards to actually build my market stall. You should have, yeah. Because I, I gave you... Yes, you did. ...one of mine. You have, you have two, for now. Okay, so I'm going to start with a tactic. Search my card for a deck and place it into my hand. That card is so powerful. It is. That is a good card. It is a very good card. Uh, I have a passive. Once in my turn, I can choose any player to discard up to two cards from their deck one by one. What was that? I'm going to choose mine. I'm going to discard two cards from my deck one by one. Passive ability, the coffee grinder here. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to use my rigorous chronicler to, to go ahead set him up and as a start stall? my market stall. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jan. So I'm gonna activate Slice of Life. Okay. Just gonna let me draw from my deck. We'll see. This has been a good game so far. I'm enjoying. Oh, I bet you. Good are. example of why I love this game. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. so you know the funny thing is I played. Game. I played against Sami. Uh huh. Uh, his market, his stall, was at least 70% my cards. You play with the most chaotic ones? Was it the pangolins as well? There was another one that added some like deck manipulation in there. I think it was, I think it was actually, uh, I think it was like the echidnas or something, like something where it's friendly trading, mm -hmm. but he just used it so well. It was disgusting. Um, speaking of disgusting. Yep. Okay.
Yes, everybody. That is one that you gave me. Yes, it is. Not a big deal. All right, moving over to me yet or no? No. Still playing your tactics? Yes. Yes, we may. Mm. So, hey. Pass Go ahead and discard. Uh, Shuffle these and discard down. Hmm. No. You know what? No. Let's not do that. I might actually do that myself. Just cycle yeah. some junk. Not junk. Perfect. It's not junk either. Oh, I know. I just don't want you to take it from me. <laughs> I'm doing this strategically, oh. so you don't steal it. Strategically. Ah, gotcha. Now I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, can I make that? So that's a total of seven. Probably not. I'll spend all that to grab that. Interesting. Uh, pull another one here. Another duplicate entry. Search your deck. You may throw away a card from there. Shuffle your deck. Moving on to me, correct? Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm just going to do... Another market stall action. I think I am. Yes, you are. Calculations is popping down. I need to shuffle so that I can draw back up. Mm-hmm. Moving on to you, good sir. I'll play both of these in order to take this. Okay. We have another coffee grinder, allows you to cycle cards. And you know, I've been thinking a lot about this. And I think I'm going to do. Swear to gosh. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, back on to you, good sir. Back to you, good sir. All right, well. <laughs> Unnecessary. That seems a little unnecessary. Oh, I have an extra card in my hand. I should not have drawn up that last one. You, had, you should have not. Yes. What do I want to do at this point? What do you want to do at this point? I think I'd like to pay six. Do you? I would. To go ahead and draw up this card here. Okay. All right. Ooh, oh, loose Lord. marbles. Roll the dice. Place a card from any player's source into a different player's destination. Interesting. I'm going to buy that one right away. Oh, yes. You like those dice rolling ones. We're 100% getting that. All right. To our deck. New ones coming out. Glue. When you use this card to purchase, you may keep this card in your hand. <whistles> Just sticks to you. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay. Where are you playing? It's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I actually don't mind that card at all. Can you get it? Um, I could. But just instead, gonna build I'm just gonna, up? just gonna add to my stall a little bit. Mm, wonderful. Question is, no. Yeah, it's a good card. Ooh, dangerous test. Draw three cards from your deck, then place them into your hand, then discard three cards from your hand. <laughs> <sighs> so, so, I think... What do you think? Well, I have a lot of thoughts. You Do you? Do... I do have a lot of thoughts. Mm. Question is, what are those thinking thoughts going to thunk? <laughs> <laughs> that's the question. That's the question. Look. I like the wording on that. I got to be honest. That's the question the audience is asking right oh, now. Oh, mm-hmm. Yep. My thinking thoughts... Is that you're going to place another stall? ...are going to thunk that maybe they mm -hmm. thinketh. I'd like you to shuffle your discard pile into your deck, and then I would like to take the top card from your deck. I really want that back. That is what my thinking thoughts have thunk. Mm, have they? Excellent. Oh, I'm glad. Very glad. Junk card. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to spend three. I'm going to spend four, five total mm -hmm. to go ahead and purchase that coffee roaster there. Mm. Okay. Cycle that down. I will draw back up. Oh, hello. You're supposed to read all that. Cultural reser Preservation. Mm -hmm. Search your deck for up to three cards, place one into your hand, and discard the rest. 
Shuffle your deck. Okay. Not bad. At all, if I do say so myself. Mm. Yeah, see. Mm. What are we thinking, buddy, old pal? Buy him? Okay. Cycling another card here. We have another magnet. It's a very interesting card. Ugh. It's a very interesting card. Now, I think what I need is going to be two junk for this lemonade here. Oh, I could have technically Too done late. some other things, but I suppose. Too late. I suppose. All right. Loose marbles. Yes, actually. Loose marbles. Oh, wait a minute. Well, it could be from your hand. Could be. Or it could be from your deck. Could be. The cool thing is that I get to roll this first. <laughs> Interesting. So. I'm taking this card mm -hmm. and throw it in into my trash. Oh. <laughs> it had the potential to be really good. All right, on to me. Ha no, not at all. That's a, that was a technique uh, card, sir. Continue your turn. Uh, I am showing this as a passive to grab that card. I am then going to show that as a passive to throw away this card. Mm -hmm. Then, oh, actually, no, I don't want to throw away that card. What I'm gonna do instead is that I'm going to play this and the junk card in order to grab that. It's not bad. The junk card doesn't stay in your hand. Oh, I know. I, okay. I threw it away. The other passive one did, though. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay, on to me. Yes. So I'm just gonna do a very simple turn as long as I've double checked. Um, double checked everything. I'm gonna just add a five. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're doing. I know what's up. You would not surprise me. Placing down. Back to you, Bob. Four? Yep. All right. Interesting. What do I think I need to secure victory for myself, my family, and my friends? <laughs> that. I don't know if you have any friends here, but... That is the crux of the conversation. I will pay six to purchase this one. Okay. Another magnet. Some wonderful options here. All right, back on to you. Choices are hard. Mm-hmm. Very hard. Oh, I totally haven't utilized my player ability. Oh, you haven't. As all. I was building stalls, I could have searched my discard pile and placed things back in my hand. I will start using that immediately. I haven't used mine yet either. But you have to activate yours. Yeah. Okay. I'm playing down a six. And this time I'm going to look through my discard pile and add something back into my hand. Let's add back in this one. Undo. Oh, okay. Back Undo. to me. On to you, Jim. Jim? Okay. I'll take that. Hmm, marbles. All right. Ooh, another set of marbles came out. I need something very specific. Question is... Can I do it? So I'm going to start off with a technique. Search my deck. Mm -hmm. Throw away a card. Reshuffle my deck. So I've done that. Okay. Okay. I then... I believe I'm going to go ahead and pick up... I do have what I need. We're spending eight to pick up the marbles. Okay, um, we are activating Tifrang. 
you're able to pick up that junk card. And I will pick up that. Oh, you troublemaker. I am placing Slice of Life down so that I can grab that card and I need to discard one from my hand. Uh, yeah. Oh. What are we discovering? Oof, oof, oof. oof. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um... Yeah, I need to discard something now. I'm trying to determine what that will be. I'm gonna do that one. I gotta go up to six right here. Okay, moving on to me. We're gonna have to spend, I've got five to spend that I wanna get out of my hand. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do just that for this one here. Draw up one, reshuffle, draw up two more. Go ahead, good sir. Okay. Um, we are going to play Safety Precautions. Swap this card with any card from a sack in your stall. Place a new card into your hand. I'm going to take that. Swap this. Grab this. Now that value is still six. Yeah. Okay. But this is a value seven. <laughs> nice. Nice. I thought you might be able to sequence that just perfectly. Now you're one phase ahead of me because I'm placing down my seven now. On to you. Oh, I have to shuffle this. And out in the market here, we have another set of calculations. Yes, you do. Okay. Getting down to the wire. Yes, it is. Do you have it? Maybe. Oh, I swear you have this. It all depends on that single you're shuffling card. shuffling a lot. It all depends on that single card. I don't have it. Ooh. Oh, man. Did you win? I, I'm looking. I'm seeing if I can do it. At the moment, I don't. I'm so, so close. Right there. I'm looking at our, my abilities. I'm sure you're doing the same exact thing, right? We're going to have an accident. Oh, good thank God. This could be it. Oh, man! So close! That was dangerous. I know. Yeah. I know that was dangerous. Interesting. Ooh, okay. You did give me a junk, which sucks. <laughs> I don't have it yet. I'm playing the same game you're playing when it gets to my turn, just for the record. I'm showing Coffee Grinder? <laughs> it's two cards. Card. It's two cards. It's not that one. It's one more, buddy. It's two. There we go. There we go. Damn it. Gosh darn it. Okay. What do we have? Hmm? It's a value of three. So it's a six total. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I was so close. Oh no, you lost. Why? Draw up your discard. I'm playing down my platypus, so I can draw my top discard card. That gets out, and... Eight. What? Oh, actually, sorry. Sorry, that junk card would have gone to the top of my deck. <laughs> Good, sir? Let me just see. <laughs> Search your deck for up to three cards, place one in your hand, and then discard the rest. <laughs> so I had a five and a two. You didn't have a three. I didn't have the three that I needed. You it's, went a little chaos crazy. But I could have choose a player to shuffle the discard and then take the top card from that player's deck. Mm -hmm. So I would have had you do that. Let's just, well, this was junk. We already know. What was this? Nope. Search your deck for a card and place it into your hand. Uh, <laughs> I would have... I, I don't know that I would have tried this one first. Mm -hmm. I probably would have done something. Good game. Thank you very much, sir. I am so excited that I won at my favorite game. Yay! I'm very happy about this. Especially after you were so cocky in the beginning. That started off so good for me. <laughs> I took three of the cards you purchased. I think you got a little bit too confident that you had all the numbers, but you didn't do the math. 
I wasn't doing any math. I I was tactical uh, tact tactically. Yeah, I've been tactically trying to grab the cards that I needed early on, but not use them at all. And then because you were so chaos crazy, I made sure they were in the discard so you couldn't take them from me. Do the honors. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. If you made it to this part of the video, uh, maybe you like Tale of Merchants and maybe you enjoy us a little, maybe a tiny little bit. If you do, we already given you the push. Make sure to comment, make sure to get on our website, check out our awesome articles. Make sure to, if you like, if you want to collaborate, get on the Patreon. But whatever you do though, <laughs> remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.